In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a second y-axis to a graph, just like I've done here by using Microsoft Excel. As always, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video, if you find it useful, as it really does help support the channel. And additionally, if you get stuck, feel free to leave me a comment below and I'll do my best to help. So let's jump into Excel and get started. For this example, I have some data on the average monthly temperatures recorded in degrees Celsius in Madrid in Spain. Under this, I also have the average monthly rainfall recorded in millimeters for Madrid. What I want to do is to plot both of these data series on the same line graph. I go into a bit more detail on how to create a line graph in Excel in a separate tutorial. So I advise you check that out if you want more details, but I'll give you a basic overview here. To create the line graph, I'll highlight all of my data. Then I'll go to insert and within the charts area, I will select the insert line or area chart option. There are a variety of different versions to pick from, but for this example, I'll select the line with markers option here. Now you can see a graph has been created. And as you can see, both data series have been plotted on the same graph. However, there is only a single Y axis to the left. In this case, the axis corresponds to the average rainfall data. What I need to do is to add a second Y axis to appear on the right hand side of the graph because both of my data series are measured in different units. To be able to add a secondary Y axis, you must first decide which data series you want to use for the second Y axis. For me, I actually want the average rainfall data to use the right Y axis. So I'll select this. Then right click on the data in the graph and go to Format Data Series. You should then see a new sidebar to the right which has the header Format Data Series. With the Series option icon selected, you want to change where you want to plot the series on. Specifically, I want this data series to use the secondary axis, so I will select this option. Notice now that a second Y axis has appeared to the right. Now my primary Y axis on the left corresponds to the average temperature data and the secondary Y axis to the right corresponds to the average rainfall data. And there you have it. Now you know how to add a second Y axis to a graph in Microsoft Excel. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.